Do you have small eyes like I do? Do you know what this is? Because this is a lifesaver for me with small eyes. And this is an eyelash curler. Yes, it is. It's actually a cheaper version of one that I already have a review up for, but I'm going to show you a comparison of this one. Does this generic eyelash curler work as well as the popular name brand one? Well, I've used these for several years and really enjoyed them. I have a video up about this one. And I saw this one online at a little bit lower price and decided to test it. So here's my report on this. Kim Townsville here. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. It's free to like, subscribe, leave a comment, share this video if appropriate so that we can become better consumers and make our life a little bit easier. I had to use a pair of scissors to get in and in this, but I'll tell you, I really do like the fact that it doesn't have a lot of excess packaging. I know, and I, or I think in America, we have excessive packaging for our products. So this is it. It's almost identical from the Laura Mercier eyelash curler that I use. It's a little bit clearer, so you can see the spring in there. It operates the same way. I have really small eyes. The traditional metal type of eyelash curler just really didn't never fit my eye, and the Laura Mercier did. So I'm hoping that this one feels pretty tight. What happens on these types of eyelash curlers is the springs wear out. I took one apart, you can see the in my other video, and they just don't crimp. This one also comes with a spare little, I guess it's a rubber latex something liner. I know that the other ones have not irritated my eyes. I've had a latex allergy in the past. Really, it's hard to tell any difference between the two. They almost look as if they could be made from the exact same mold, which I'm sure that engineers have no trouble copying those. Probably can be done with the 3D printer. It so it looks the same. The design looks exactly the same, almost exactly the same. There's a little difference on the back that you can see. They work exactly the same. I had thought that perhaps the less expensive um, Muji might not operate as well. But that was not the case. It operated just fine. I've been using it for nine months now and it's held up extremely well. If you like this type of eyelash curler, then I recommend either one of these, the Muji or the La Mercier. Both have worked fine for me. Just a side by side to show you that they could have actually have been made by the same mold. They just look identical. They operate identically. They both come with a spare at the bottom. I've already used the spare on that one. I really can't see any difference between the Japanese version and the version that I've been using. It's possible they're even made by the same manufacturer and marketed under different names. This one doesn't have a name printed on it. I purchased this in September of 2017 for just a little bit under $10. I've been using it since then with um, great results. Here's some packaging detail if you want to pause and look at this a little more closely. I'm really, really happy with this product. This is showing you the crimp that it provides on a piece of paper. I know that it's hard to see on my eyelashes, so I thought I would just show you what it looks like on paper. This is what my eyelashes look like before any crimping or curling 
using the Muji Eyelash Curler. Here I'll try to show you how I use it. It is a little tricky for small eyes, but then anything is tricky for small eyes, but this one's easier to use than large ones. Using this, it's easier for me to get it really, really close to the lash line. Move it over a little bit, and then do one funnel over there. I really do like this style of eyelash curler. It's much easier for me to use than the the big the big um, ones that were really too big for my eye. So I like these them easier this is the type of curl I get with this eyelash curler um, my eyelashes are not as long as they have been in the past because I'm no longer using the Latisse but they're still long enough so that I have to curl them up or they um, flick on my glasses which is annoying so I hope you can see this I'm very satisfied with this. It, to me, it worked just as well as the, the name brand one, and it's held up very well. No breakage, no, no problems at all. Makeup does get built up on here, and I just usually take um, a tissue and wipe that off when it does. It's not curling quite as effectively as it has been, so I've taken the padding out. It doesn't show any signs of wear, but it does come with a, with a replacement. So I'm going to try to put that in. And bear with me, I'm trying to do this backwards so that I can show you how it goes in. And it's not easy to put in. So I have a pair of pliers that um, are not sharp. I'm actually going to use to see well to see if I can get it in. The um, other one that I used that was like this, I think it went in perhaps a little bit easier. This seems to be working. I didn't quite get all that cleaned off. I think it's on the back side. It is indeed on the back side. So have that in. And if it does feel a little bit tighter, so perhaps it's going to curl a little bit better. This is the old one, and it doesn't really show any signs of wear. It's been in for about six months now. And I could probably use it again. I'm going to toss it in my makeup drawer in case something happens in this one. I could put it back in, you know, as a backup. If I put it back in the bottom of this, I'm going to forget that I replace it. I'm going to think it's a brand new one, so I'm not going to do that. Changing out the little pad, I think it did make it work better. It seemed to like curl my eye, eyelashes a little bit faster. This is with one coat of mascara. I'm using the um, Katie Cat mascara, only one coat, um, because I'm going to do a video review of this and finish it up. So, yeah, changing it did. So I'm thinking I got six months out of the little rubber pad, the first one, but I definitely am noticing an improvement by changing it out. Thanks for watching my video review of the eyelash curler. Remember, it's free to like, subscribe, leave a comment, share this video if appropriate. And if you have time before you leave, watch another video on YouTube. They'd like for you to stick around. It's free to like, it's free to subscribe, it's free to give me a thumbs up. And we can help each other out. Thanks so much. Bye. Stay beautiful. Because you already are.